Hello, welcome to Do Go On. Uh, you are listening to my voice, and that is the voice of Dave Warnicky. I'm going to welcome in another voice, and that is Jess Perkins' voice. This is the voice of Jess Perkins. And we're going to be joined by, we're going to be what, a barbershop trio uh, <laughs> with Matt Stewart's voice over this the top. This is the voice of Jess Perkins. Oh, One he's, job. He's fucked it already. Wait, what? What did I do? Nothing, nothing. Oh, it's fine, yeah. Matt. Good job. Oh, well, this is bullshit. You guys are gang up on me all the time. <laughs> yes, we do. Within the first minute, we're ganging up on you. No. It, <laughs> it's your turn, too. You're going to be doing the talkie talkie. I've ne- this is, I mean, I've, I've been drinking alcohol before in my life, but never before doing a report. Well, that's not true. Oh, is yeah, it? That can't be. No, <laughs> that can, oh, you've definitely had beers. It seems to be every when somebody se- else is doing one. Yeah, no, that's right. Never my own. Never your report. own. Okay. It's every second week now that you tick off a new first for drinking. <laughs> I've never, never drunk oh, and man, skateboarded it's... before. <laughs> well, Dave ticked off a new well, first tonight that's as well, <laughs> and he had his first blood nose. While yeah, on the my, my nose was bleeding. As but he, can't, he entered the podcasting studio, going. I've got a problem, guys. And we were like, finally, he's going to talk to us about his gambling problem. <laughs> yeah. No way. I'm I'm going to win. Yeah. Blood red. I'm putting it all oh, on red tomorrow. Boy. Chase your losses. All right. All right. Well, those losses have got to pay for themselves. What is, that doesn't mean anything. He's what? not a good gambler. <laughs> okay. That's that. the problem. Oh, now I get it. Hit me. <laughs> no, I'm That's dead. where the blood nose came Yeah, from. no, I said that to the wrong person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was bleeding all over the place. <laughs> I've yeah, that le- sounds pretty good. I've learnt my lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> drinking a sugar-free energy drink and it's gross. It's so bad. Bring me the sugar bash. The sugar-free are terrible. Why did you order the non-sugary version? Well, I thought I was going to be good about it because I've been drinking all the sugary beers. That said, I've been, I've been going through a real diet Coke phase lately. I love it. Do you? Do, yeah. you, do you like soft drink? Yeah. Oh, I don't drink soft drink very much, really. I, uh, no, I don't either. I normally don't drink energy drinks, but because I've been drinking for the last 10 hours, <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. 10 hours, man. You should not Wait, be doing Wait, no, hang on. Sorry, 11 and a half hours. Oh. Right. My, uh, my grandfather... <laughs> yeah, it's 11.30 in the morning. You start at midnight. <laughs> my grandfather didn't, uh, didn't drink, didn't smoke, you know, would, would put a little bit of money on the horses every now and then, but they really had nothing. But he... Hit the heroin hard. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. He loved soft drink. Did he? Loved it. And my dad is the same. Like, he really likes soft drink. But I, I, I love it, but I don't drink a lot of it. Like, oh. and, and I, I don't need it. Yeah, this is sounding like an addict. That does sound like an addiction. No, no, no. I, I actually don't drink all that much. Yeah, and it's, if it's I like have fun. it, I could give it away anytime if I want. If I have it, I'll have like a, a little bit. I just do like a do mouthful. You? Yeah, oh. I just want like a little budge on the bubbles. Oh, but, oh, so how do I you. I like the bubbles. But how do you buy it? Because obviously you have to buy it in a 600 mil or oh, 390 mil, I guess, at the smallest. No, you know what's great now? The smaller cans. Oh, and do you drink that whole can or do you throw it away? I'd still have the whole can, but I'd spread it out. You know what's great now? <laughs> the smaller cans. What it's is just, it? I've, I've never seen a smaller can. You haven't seen? The, like almost that size that you've got there. Okay. But it's... Energy size can. Energy size. Little smaller cans. Like a 250. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's good. And you just like the little bubbles. I love bubbles. I'm not going to make your mouth I think that's why I don't like soft drink, because I don't really like bubbles. Well, there you go. Because your esophagus is too small for bubbles. <laughs> yeah, I can't handle more than one bubble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, too many bubbles. Maximum bubbles. What about like sparkling water? No, don't I like hate that. It. No. Don't like it. I was about to suggest sparkling water to you, Jess. Much preferred to get the bubbles without any of the Yeah, I know. Oh, I have had sparkling water fairly recently, and it wasn't. I was like, hmm, maybe I'm coming around it to it. But you know what? I probably just, the most of the time, I just drink water. Yeah, water. Or tea. Water is so refreshing. A lot of coffee. Yeah, good I drink a lot what's of coffee. Your, what's your tea? I'm tea a peppermint choice. girl. I'm a herbal tea girl. Peppermint's, peppermint's my number time. two. What's your number one? Earl Grey. Get out. No. Nah, Milk? I won't. Soy, please. Of course. Oh. No Dave, sugar. are you much of a tea Thank drinker? You. No, I don't really drink hot drinks. I don't drink coffee or tea. Fair enough. Dave but, doesn't ever put anything in his yes, body. Yes, I... Um, <laughs> That's why he weighs 52 kilos. I abstain from everything. (laughs) Liquid, foods. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he won't even put bubbles in his body. No. No. It's on a bubble-free diet. I put one in. One bubble. That's why they call him Bubble Boy. Well, they do. Do they? That's a weird coincidence. I didn't know that. I just said a thing. Good guess. That made no sense at all, and it turned out to be a true fact. Often the way with you, Matt. (laughs) Often the way. Let's hope he does that some more in his report. Yes, is it going to be uh, drink-based, alcohol oh, or otherwise? Should, should have been. No, it's not. It's a great topic. And oh, so you're going to um, <sighs> do someone justice, are you? 
I, I imagine it's a hat topic because you it's always. A, it is. I'm a hat man. Now this, I'm going to call this episode Matt Stewart butchers the classics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Ooh, like it. Bit of Chopin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great topic. Actually, it's been suggested by multiples. Mm. Multiples of? Pe- uh, human people. <laughs> oh, pardon listeners. me. Mm. Right. Um, do you want me to give you the question? Because that's how we start the episode. Plus. Yes. Plus. Plus. It's probably better if you explain it. Did that make sense? What Plus. I said? Plus start with Well, the we just each take it in terms to do a report. Matt is up after 11 hours of drinking. He's going to start it with a question to get us on topic. Jess and I will have a go at answering it. It's, it's like just looking at the table in front of me is pretty depressing. There's just empty. <laughs> <laughs> like, looking at the table in front of you is actually pretty impossible because your eyes, eyesight is completely <laughs> gone. Why is everything so blurry? Oh, oh, I can't read. All right. And I've written a lot of this report in the last 11 and a half hours. So that, anyway, look, enough of the excuses. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Um, my question to you is, mm-hmm. what is the most sinister shape of all? <laughs> <laughs> a triangle. Close. Square. Sinister. I mean, the triangle bit's right. Diamond. Tri- a certain kind of triangle. A pyramid? Bermuda triangle. Because oh, the- when I said triangle, I thought uh, Illuminati, because I know that has been... Suggested Bermuda Triangle Bermuda has triangle. also been suggested. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this one was suggested by Emma on the Twitters Emma. and also Bradley Teasdale on the Facebooks. Thank you, Bradley. Two of the key sock meds. Thank you. Sock med is what uh, nobody calls social media. Oh, gotcha. Or fuckheads call social media. Mm, there we go. I call social media. So Emma and Bradley. Emma and Bradley are the... Thank you. Wants to thank for. Cool. Yeah. Bermuda and Triangle, nice. It's a great topic and I'm so sorry, guys. I've <laughs> um, I've really, as sometimes I do, I've lent heavily on one um, source in particular, the history.com, but also... Slash few, Bermuda Triangle. A few others. And yeah, I, I also obviously visited the Triangle. Yeah, I, t- I took a, a tiny plane out there. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Well, you must. Yeah. You, I, oh, you must. I, <laughs> I took a little plane out there, uh, one of those old Wright Brothers style ones on a stormy night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All good. It should be said that <laughs> all our topics, if they are based in other countries, we do make sure we visit we them. We visit no. them. Well, we're not monsters. No, come if on. If they're based in Australia, we will not visit them. Yeah, oh, of course. God, I will not no. leave the house for anything less than an overseas jaunt. <laughs> jaunt. Do you guys know what the three points of the Bermuda Triangle are? Yeah, obviously. Uh, Bermuda. Yes. Try Florida, yes, an angle. Oh, something like Dominica or something like that. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. See, hang on, uh, Dave was answering the question genuinely, and I was oh, sorry, smart ass. I'm so like, sorry. Yeah, the points are friendship. <laughs> good. <laughs> that would have been really yeah. good. That's I'm one. So sorry. What else we got? Friendship, loyalty, and, and Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I live my life, yeah. Bermuda style. Do you know any? Do you know anything about the Bermuda Triangle? All I know is that at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast, oh, there geez. is a Bermuda Triangle themed ride that I uh, that's been there since about 1997. So, so, if, it, been on so that. if it's still there, it will be. Maybe it's a Dream World. It's at one of them. It might be SeaWorld. Uh, for our overseas listeners, um, on the Gold Coast in Queensland, we have some really, really shit theme parks. Oh, they're not too bad. They're pretty shit. What um, do we go? We got the triangle. We got the triangle. Okay. We got Puerto C- Rico. We've got a Sea World. A Sea World. We've got a Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild. Dream World. Warner Brothers Movie, Movie World. World. Dream World's out by itself. Yeah. yeah, it's not part of the three park superpower. And Dream World <laughs> also comes with another one like it has wet its own. It's wet. got its own wet thing, like yeah. rapids or something. Oh, man, wet I'm, thing. If you're gonna do a theme park, I'm I'm up for wet ones. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I mean that sounded weird. I went to I'm mo- up for a wet one. I went to movie. <laughs> oh, no. I went to Movie World last year. Is that, movie that's the shit right. one? Oh, no, okay. I, mean, oh, no. I like Movie World because they have like the stunt cars. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw the show. <laughs> it's pretty I saw good. Saw the stunt show oh, and the Scooby Doo yeah. ride is fun. Yes, I went on that about nine times yeah, because the other fun. two big rides, the Superman ride and the Batman ride, were both out of action. Oh yeah, which and, come on, and not at all too scary. The Batman for me. ride, new Batman, 
Yeah, it was Arkham. They were building Arkham Asylum. That's right. Superman. Oh, and the other one, the Green Lantern run was also out of action. Right. Yeah, because because it, it like froze and somebody nearly fell out. Yeah. So you don't want to get on that one anyway. Well, but every time you get on a roller coaster, I figure you're taking a risk. It's part of the fun. The, oh. You know, here's the thing, though. I may have mentioned this before, but I really love roller coasters, but oh. my stomach does not. Oh. I get really sick on roller coasters, so I just don't bother going on them. So I'm that person at theme parks who's like holding the bags. Oh, you're the bag lady. I hate which it. Which is the nickname that we gave my mum because <laughs> she would never go on yeah. theme parks. Like I went on um, Space Mountain when I was in um, Disneyland Disney in Paris and I was like, this is the best. I had the best time and then I felt sick for like two hours. Oh no. Like really unwell. It sucks. It does. Because so I, I really like I like those ones a lot. I like the fast mm. forwards ones. I'm sure we talked about this back in I'm sure we have. Disneyland yeah. episode. But the it's the spinny ones that, that get me. I love the fast forwards or fast. up and down. Yep. Yeah. They're the ones I'm into. Spinny, spinny, spinny. We went on no, a ride together fun. at the Royal Melbourne Show. Oh, the Royal Melbourne Show. Now, speaking of shit theme parks. <laughs> the yeah, that's not one of them. Yeah. It's great. Sorry. It's where the city meets the country. No, the country meets the city. Either or. I once had a, a in a, Melbourne, our hometown. There's a there's a show, and they <laughs> and it started because farmers used to bring. They wanted to put cattle. their cows on display. Yeah, so there's something. lots of like animals on display, which is weird. And then there's like a wood chopping competition. Oh, I used to love that. Yeah, the wood chopping's pretty cool actually. Yeah, they're like a, suddenly they're like twenty feet in the air. And they got those, and it's got all those really? shitty like the clown mouths and all those kind of carny yeah. games and show bags and terrible rides. It's the best. It's is the what best and worst of us. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, Bermuda Triangle. We got Bermuda lost triangle. in the Bermuda Triangle of theme park. How did we get lost there? I what? talked Jeez, about the Bermuda Triangle ride of Dreamworld or SeaWorld. I think it's SeaWorld now I think about it. But that it's is so by. important. Yeah. Matt, um, tell us about the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda one. Triangle, I just know, it's got that mysterious uh, chic about it. Chic? Is chic. that the word we're going for? It's very chic. Okay. Trey chic. Okay. Matt, okay. did you not come across the word chic in your report? That's strange. Because uh, you weren't reporting properly if you didn't. Um, well, I mean, I've already told you I wasn't mm. reporting properly. Mm. I mean, what? And I, I mean, I'm seeing two of you right now, but... Um, oh, boy. And it uh, feels like I've just got off a really dodgy ride. What's the one that spins around and around? Gravitron. Gravitron. No. I just jumped off the Gravitron. Won't get me on that. <laughs> Oh, there's, uh, there's another name for the Bermuda Triangle. Are you What's aware that? Of that? Gravitron. Devil's Triangle. Don't like it as much. Oh. It's more sinister. Well, I mean, Bermuda's just one point in the triangle. But it's it's mm. probably the mm, top two most exotic places on the triangle. Yeah, what oh, are they? Puerto right? Rico. Florida. Florida. Miami Keys. Florida's pretty cool. That's not very ex- exotic, though. It's not very, I would say, and uh, when I say exotic, I mean uh, also not very mysterious. Sorry, Florida. Jeez. Yeah, Florida is quite a safe place where old people retire, if Seinfeld served me correctly. Okay, well, <laughs> to our Florida Seinfeld. listeners, I'm so sorry for Dave shitting all over your beautiful town. Uh, Florida's oh, a Dave. state. Of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely saved it. I will give you full credit for that, Jess. All right, I'll give it to her as well. And the capital, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. There you go. Oh, I would not have guessed that. No. And the Orlando Magic uh-huh. and the Miami Heat are the two NBA teams. Tallahassee does not get a look in. And the Miami Dolphins are the other sports team. So Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, great. So away from sport there, please, Matthew. Um <laughs> Everything I know about America is sports teams. Cool. Um, so, the three points of the triangle, um, Miami, Bermuda, Friendship. and Puerto Rico. Loyalty. Between these three points, we haven't really talked about it yet. What's my third one? <laughs> Puerto Rico. Ah. But, but <laughs> between these three points, mm-hmm. dozens of ships and aeroplanes oh. have disappeared. <gasps> Black hole. There Black. you go. Solved it. Some of these. <laughs> or there's a really nice island in the middle and they always get there and go, yeah. fuck, this is yeah, nice. This Let's is stay here. Way okay, better. good. All right. We've gone early, but yeah, I'm, I was going to ask you if you could explain it for me. That's my theory. This is one of those tedious ones where there's no clear explanation. There are just some things that just have still not been explained. No. A bunch of the accidents have, have never been explained. Island in the middle. But an island in Lost the middle city of Atlantis. Oh. That is, that is a theory. 
a oh correct my... one, a correct theory. Yeah. It can't be a theory if it's correct. What you meant to say there was, that is the truth. Okay, that is a truth. So, thank you for listening, everybody. Man, uh, that was efficient. See hashtag, you next truth. Week. <laughs> hashtag truth. Hashtag <laughs> truth. Atlantis truth. Tr- hashtag the truth about Atlantis. Too long a hashtag. You are not good at hashtags. Jess, here's, an, here's something that might really get your goat. And I know you've got a, I know you've got a goat with you today. <laughs> um, some boats and planes have seemingly vanished mm. during good weather. Get the fuck out. I'm not going to. Because well. I certainly assumed that it was only during a storm. Warm, but now you're telling me even during good weather the yeah. ships go missing? Well, I never. Picture this. Sunshine in the sky. Beautiful. Um, can feel the rays on me. in the waters. Calmness in the waters. Uh, That's how I like my waters. Oh. <laughs> I feel it in my calm waters. Mm-hmm. And then you got like, maybe like, you know, Lionel Richie playing on the radio. Oh, very, what song? Oh, what no, I'm, thinking, I'm easy on a Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. Yeah, Commodores. that's what I was thinking. Is it a Sunday morning? I don't know, well, that's probably the most uneasy thing about it. It was a Sunday afternoon. Oh, oh see, no. you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. But with it's Lionel. on the radio. You didn't. You're not playing it. The yourself. DJ has wished death upon you. Yeah. But some some of these some of these vehicles, mm-hmm. aeroplanes, vehicles, uh, boat and mag- boats. Boat How many boats. cars have disappeared though? Yeah. Answer me that question. Is it, have cars 100 percent? How many segways? How many segways have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle? Oh, I mean, it's un- uncounted. Uncounted because uh, un- it's zero. Uh, because it's uncountable because there's so many. Oh mm. shit! It's in the millions. Wow. Once you get past a million, it's hard to count. True. Mm-hmm. Try and count past a million. I dare you. Okay, a million and one. A okay, million and two. I'll stop you right there. Because you are correct. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an idiot. God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I thought she nailed it. That was really good. That was very impressive. But but apart from good weather, a lot of these um uh a lot of these mysterious ones they they disappeared without even Peter Andre gi- giving a May Day or a Peter Andre. Made a mysterious girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> mysterious girl. That that I had like a Caribbean you. sort of vibe about yeah, it. That it did. Song. Yeah. If if you are if you're a, if you're in strife, baby. right? Mm-hmm. You're See either you're gonna you're gonna send a Mayday, you're gonna see it, send a, a Peter Andre, or you're gonna send a Coldplay. Coldplay, great. That's right. I was gonna try and think of something better, but uh, you bailed me out with that. You know, weakish. There are plenty of theories as to why. <laughs> the... <laughs> that wasn't an edit point. Uh, that was just Matt bailing <laughs> mid sentence. Please go on. After being mean. <laughs> There are plenty of theories as to why these uh, disappearances have occurred, but none have been anywhere near proven without doubt. Uh, a lot of them, like these days, people think that it is just, you know, it's just a, another patch of ocean. Back in the olden days, things happened everywhere, and it was sort of, I've, I've probably I've burst that bubble too early. I'm going to bail on that. Okay. So anyway, a lot of things are disappearing. Uh-huh. And there's still no... And like over a long... Like has it been going for hundreds of years or did this thing happen like 10 you know, uh, years? I mean, I mean, the disappearances have been happening for a long time, but it hasn't. It didn't really hit popular culture until the last... In, until the 20th century, really. Uh, it does it deter a thing. people still? Uh, not really anymore, I don't think. Because hmm. planes fly me. through there every day. Multiple, multiple planes. It's a huge patch of ocean. Yeah. If you want to go anywhere around South America, you got to go through it. You're probably going. And you know, it. I was about to say like it would They're deter me, but then I realized I, I wouldn't. I didn't know where it was until you said. I, I would have had no idea. I may have flown over there. I have no idea if I have. Oh, or not. Okay, you've travelled. Congratulations, you because Mr. Mr. Worldwide, well, how, 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 Pitbull. Over I mean, here. how many square miles <laughs> of ocean do you think? It, you it steamroll is? so many. Oh, of there's my already this. <laughs> All I heard was Pitbull. Was that good? <laughs> Matt wouldn't have got that reference, even if he'd heard it. Because he's 112? Yeah. You're way too old for Pitbull. Pitbull. Admit it. <laughs> Admit it. Pitbull's like 60 years old, <laughs> you weirdos. <laughs> Pitbull is an absolute anomaly. He just should not be famous. He should not sell millions of records. Somehow people listen to him. He looks like a Pitbull. <laughs> it's one of the unironic things about him. If you looked like a Jack Russell, that would be irony. How many? How many square miles of ocean? I'm thinking three. 
I think uh, more hundreds. like uh, like two million square miles. Five hundred thousand square miles. Because right, it's always way so more I was than closer. anything. I was that's a lot. That's a lot Dave. of. That's a lot of square miles. <laughs> I was closer than Dave, though. According to History. dot com, my favorite. You, you were th- closer. <laughs> <Thank> what, <laughs> because you said three. Yeah. Well, if we were and on you the price, yeah, if we were prices right, you would have won with that. Yeah. So that's what my I'm saying. My favorite thing you, when you if you watch prices right. <laughs> so the rule is you make a bid and it's closest without going over. So someone would be like one dollar. Yeah. And then someone next to them would go. Two dollars. Yeah. No, one for one person goes one dollar. The next person goes. They're like, hmm. Well, it's a ride on mower. Two million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, not Di- again. Fucking Diane. Why do we let her on? Fuck you, Diane. They always call her seat. One dollar and one cent. <laughs> Ooh. One dollar and Diane's <laughs> cents. <laughs> Which is zero. Zero. So one dollar. <laughs> She's got no sense. I'm and it's, it's Diane it's saying that. Diane said that. She refers to herself with third person. I am Diane. <laughs> and I have no sense. Fucking Diane. <laughs> Drew Carey, over who hosts the US version. Hello, I'm Diane. <laughs> Woo! Diane, come on down. <laughs> That's me. I'm <laughs> Diane. <laughs> the whole audience is so clapping. They're like, fuck. Oh, yeah. Fucking Diane. It's always her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she must be married to the producer or something. She's not. She's just very lucky. <laughs> you know, on those um, superhero things, mm-hmm. like in the movies or whatever, when um, when one of the characters is going really fast, but the way they show the fastness is by everything else Slowing going down. slowly. Is that what's happening to you right That's now? That's what I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm Are just you going watching fast or you. Slow? Like, wait, no, hang on. <laughs> Are you going fast or slow? No, I'm going slow and you We're guys seem to be fast. going fast. What does that mean? It means that you're drunk. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> it. That that adds up. Yeah. Um. So apparently when Christopher Columbus, ever heard of that man? Yes, I have. Dave, tell me about him. Christopher Columbus, uh, first European to establish lasting contact with the Americas. He. Uh, you are incredibly smart. Oh, well. he's incredibly knowledgeable. It's not the same thing. <laughs> What's the, oh, I, I don't have street smarts and I cannot cook, so... What, do you, what would you say I am? Street smart and good cook. But not knowledgeable. Well, I mean, knowledge... Well, like I'll every, take street smarts. I'll take that. I honestly... I do have street smarts. The, the, the days of it being impressive that you know stuff are over. Because everybody has... Everyone's got... Uh, okay, Siri. Tell me... How important is Dave? Dave's a fuckhead. See what I mean? <laughs> Siri knows. Oh, she Siri. got me there. Siri. 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 <laughs> hey, Siri. Siri. Hey, Siri. Oh, Hello. Um, oh, okay. Can you please tell me... Uh, oh, ask, ask who Christopher Columbus is. Can you is. please tell me who Christopher Columbus is? Here is what I found. Can you read that for me? <laughs> I'm blind. Oh, no, I'm talking to the other Siri. You then piece who of stole shit. the cookie from the cookie jar? Who? Me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Siri, look, I'll be honest. You've you've let me down a little bit here. No, nah, right. Yeah, people re- who can retain said, yeah, knowledge right. are still somewhat valuable. She just said, "Who me again?" Okay. Remember when you said Siri. that you didn't need to know things like that because of Siri? I mean, I'm feeling pretty smug right now. I hate Always Siri right smug. now, but. Siri is going to end up killing us all. Did I, did I tell you I've met the woman who voices Siri? I met her. She was on my radio show. What does that her name's mean? Karen. Karen is Are you Siri? absolutely shitting us? I'm not shitting you. I've Don't surely, absolutely shit us on this one, Surely it's a computer mate. program that just reads. No, it's a woman. It's an Australian that just simulates woman. Oh, my words. God. That is pretty embarrassing that Dave didn't have that bit of knowledge in his head. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Can you tell us a bit about her? Um, did she just... It was for... like She was the voice of a lot of GPSs. Does she, when she speaks, can you tell that it's her? No, not really. Does she put on a voice for it? Hello, I am your. Well, computer. you got to think about like how they've just recorded words. Was out it of a phone or was it a? No, in, she was in the studio. So what is she like? I'm. Or was she in my head, she's like a. She's a singer. Thirty year old. No, nah, she'd be older. And what was she? Thirty two. She's and she sings. But she's a singer. She's a. Prof- when she sings, singer. does she sound like Siri? No. Don't Who be me? Who Don't me? be ridiculous, Dave. Don't oh. don't be so disrespectful to her art. I know you hate art. Do you hate art, Dave? Oh, I love art. I love art. 
Love art. I love art. Anyway, Matt, do go on. Oh, man, I feel, I'm feeling a bit... No, you're fine. All right. Um. <laughs> you're a fuckhead. Just keep going with your dumb little report. <laughs> Um, so, what about Christopher Columbus? That's what we're up to. Yes, Christopher Columbus. He, he at the time when he first um, voyaged through the waters of the New World, he reported the calm waters. Were they calm? Oh, Some days they were. Can we get a bucket? <laughs> no, that wasn't a joke. Um, we got the bin. Okay. <laughs> Do you really need the bin, Matthew? <laughs> Never let this, down. <laughs> this is the second time we've had to get the bin for <laughs> <laughs> this podcast. 45 episodes in and uh, Matt's had the bucket called in for the second time. Uh, let me just check the scoreboard. That's two for Matt, <laughs> none for Jess and still none for Dave. Interesting. Two bucket calls. You're also the, supposed to be the responsible adult of the group. Yeah. You're, well, you're supposed to be our... not true. supposed to be our dad. You're our dad. Why are we Dad. That? I don't see it. I would have thought if I was going to assign the most. What is the thing you said is? Dad. What? The most responsible. <laughs> I don't even know. I would say the most responsible of this group is Dave. Big time. Number two is Jess. <laughs> yeah. And I'm by far the biggest fuckhead of this trio. Wouldn't you think? Ah, uh, one hundred percent backing Matt. I'm. I would say I'm. I'm the moral heart. But I'm I'm oh, also the strongly disagree. Uh, how are you the moral heart when you're drunk on every episode? <laughs> Wait, what is morals I coming to that? Dave is probably the heart and soul of this group. Nah, Dave couldn't give a fuck about anything. He doesn't care about stuff. Yes, he does. In his own way, he does. In his own way, his he's own a way. Nazi. <laughs> He cares about them, though, doesn't I he? I am not a Nazi, and I do not sympathise with Nazis. Do we have to keep talking about this? Well, hey, we're not, we're not the ones who said Hitler wasn't that bad. Yeah, you did you really did start say it, that. Mate. No. If we go back to the tape, at yeah. the time, you said Hitler the world wasn't that didn't bad. know how bad he was going he to be. He wasn't that bad yet, you said. On the world stage. Probably as a human being, he had bad thoughts. That we all do, don't we? Hey, I can sympathise with that, Hitler. Now, Jess has bloody said that's way worse than anything I ever said. Can we talk about her sympathy? Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> Young on, Nazi mate. boy. Just <laughs> let it go. Own it and move on. Let it go, champ. <sighs> own it. <laughs> I'm never going to own that. <laughs> <laughs> own it, mate. <laughs> Please, I, I'm going to ask for a third time for you to say what we were talking about, Christopher Columbus. Right, so he said, um, and it was recorded that... Uh, in one of his first journeys out into those new waters. <laughs> I just remember we got the bucket for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got a bin for you to throw up in. And you're sitting there look, reading, looking in pain. And I'm enjoying it a lot. Great. Well, anyway, Christopher Columbus <laughs> reported um, that he saw a great flame of fire. Um, that is now thought to have been a meteor as he sailed through the Bermuda Triangle. It was actually just Johnny Cash. <laughs> burn, 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 ring of fire. Mm-hmm. Um, he also wrote about erratic compass readings when he was traveling through that, that space. Ah. And th- this is obviously years and years ago, seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many years ago. Um. And yeah, he and and it's now thought that uh, that was possibly because uh, one part of the Bermuda Triangle is one of the few places on Earth where true north and magnetic north line up, uh, or so at, at that time it did. So it freaks out those yeah. old school styles of compass. I 100% don't know what that means. I don't understand that at all. Yeah. But that's the thing. Let's move forward with no follow-up questions then. Okay. <laughs> Um, in a did you know type section of the website, um, it also stated that after gaining widespread fame as the first person to sail solo around the globe, Joshua Slocum. Dis- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do go on. He had to go right around the world to just get off. <laughs> Dave. Oh, that's not where you were going, was it, Jeff? Nah. Oh, yeah, come on. No, I just imagined it coming out really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> That's way more graphic. Yeah, it's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the p- is the worst bit. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, get the bucket. <laughs> oh. So he disappeared on a 1909 voyage. <laughs> Slow come. From Martha's Vineyard to South America. <laughs> and it's not clear what happened. Um, but sources later... Whatever happened to slow come, you know? <laughs> We're all asking Sources ourselves. later thought <laughs> that oh, his sources. death oh. was somehow um, because of the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, so he, but he disappeared in that area? Yeah. Oh. In 1909. But it, the Bermuda Triangle wasn't even thought of as a thing then. Oh, mm-hmm. so retroactively, like, Retroactively, hang on. yeah. Columbus and slow come. We're retroactively squeezed into the triangle. Two of the best. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the biggest and the brightest and the best. Um, another interesting point that they talked about was how William Shakespeare... Oh, I thought you were going to say Shatner. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> William it's... Shatner. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I am. Shakespeare, you know, whatever. You know Shakespeare's play, The Tempest? You guys are theatre types. Yes, The Tempest is like a big wind. Yes. Like a big stormy wind. Yeah, the, well, we've all the, had the a big wind. wind. <laughs> After some spicy <laughs> no, food. No, no, no <laughs> Matt hates that. <laughs> it's, that's, a, hates, is that that's a classic poo and fart hates joke. Oh, poo jokes. <laughs> the tempest out of my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that, is the worst. Out of my butthole. <laughs> I Say cannot butthole. wait for this. I just want this episode to be over so I can get it out of here. <laughs> and vomit. I mean, I, I'm, okay. still, I'm still drinking an energy drink. Go on, you Mr. Shouldn't Tempest. Be, don't drink that if you're going to vom. No. no why it, are we going to mention the tempest? I am... Um, suitably, my ears are pricked. Well, apparently, it was possibly based on a real life Bermuda shipwreck, um, and that that's that's thought to be that shipwreck was supposedly based on a true story, and that true story was supposedly based in the Bermuda Triangle. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's all very complicated. Yeah, it's, it's much that, like the plot of a Shakespeare play. Ah, yeah. good point. Um. Did you guys? You guys didn't study the Tempest, did you? I didn't know. No, I did. I haven't I, read the Tempest. I, I did a first year literature. Oh, did you assignment on it? Do you remember Without, much about? Uh, I remember bits and pieces, but it was Why one of the someone... first things that I got a good mark on without fully reading. Or um, mm. I became very good at that, as you can see now. Doing this report that without ever, ever um, actually visiting the three. I've only visited two of the points of the triangle. Oh, which one have you not? Florida, you refuse to go to North America. Actually, no, I haven't been to any of the three. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Where did you think you had been? Um, I've been to Nando's. Is that involved somewhere? <laughs> uh, Nando's is a South African-founded restaurant that serves Portuguese food. Portuguese. <laughs> it's so far away from Puerto Rico. But the per sound. But the per. Um, <laughs> Good I've try. also been to um, what are the other ones? Bermuda. Bermuda. I've I've been to. Um, I've used to really like the Beach Boys song um, Kokomo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bermuda, Bermuda, come on and Bermuda, 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 come on, Bermuda. <laughs> if you close your eyes, it's almost like you're there. <laughs> Bermuda. Where? Bermuda. Bermuda. I want to see you down at Slow Come. So, <laughs> what? I don't know. Slow Come O. <laughs> slow Come <laughs> And what about Florida? You've been to Florida. But I've never been to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I've never been to. Fl- oh, I don't think I've ever been in Florida. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> but do you remember what happens? <laughs> it's for me. Uh, in the Tempest, or people crash onto yeah. Some there's rocks a crash, and then, and then there's like a f- an a, like a fairy elf, some sort of an, an esp. Can they try and <laughs> esprit? There's like some sort of a like a little elk. No, that's a deer. There's a little um, imp. Imp. There's an imp. What else about the Tempest? Do you know. It was written by Shakespeare. <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> William Shatner. Despite some of these old school thoughts, reports of unexplained disappearances did not go mainstream until the 1900s, like I was saying. So they, they really, um, over, the, over many years, um, they've gone back and grouped together all these things now. And like, you know, when you, you're trying to prove something and you've got an infinite amount of time. Oh, right, yeah, like over the last 6,000 years, yeah. 
30 boats have gone missing. But you can go, and, that and one of them Shakespeare things was probably about it. Mm. And also, um, what else have we got? Um, there was that guy who um, huh? probably, the slow coming guy. He and probably, Christopher Columbus said his instruments went weird once. That may have been in that area. Nah, yeah, it probably was though. Yeah. There's no way of knowing because his instruments were so weird he didn't know where he was. It's it's just it's it's funny yeah. that you can, and yeah. that's over th- like a lot of years. I was going to say thousands. It is thousands, I guess. But it, it's just going. Yeah, I mean, you got a handful of <laughs> a handful of examples over a few thousand years. Mm. This guy called Barry at the general store said it was true. So that's part of the evidence. I'm you presenting. Don't, I mean, I'd never, I'd never know Barry to lie. Yeah, have you known him to lie, Barb? Barb. Barb. She, she says nah. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't want to be on camera though. Barb would also never lie. Yeah, would you, Barb? No, again. Says nah. <laughs> Love you, Barb. Love you, Barb. Um. She says. What was the too. question again? Fuck off, Barb. Shut up, Barb. Back, back to bed. <laughs> it's, no. la- it's late. We. I really shouldn't be on camera at one thirty a.m. <laughs> would you? What you tell me? You want me to put the camera away? Oh, Barb. <laughs> Barb. <laughs> You're really not the woman I married. I'm so confused. I'm disappointed in every single way. Wow. What a tapestry. All right. Well, off to bed, I pop. Thanks, Bob. Night, Bob. Night, all. I don't know who I am in this. The cameraman? (laughs) You're the narrator. (laughs) You're you're Caliban. (laughs) What's that noise? What's that noise you made, Manny? You're allowed to laugh, you know. I don't know what's (laughs) happening. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I don't. I don't want to listen to this ever. <laughs> you have to. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> You're gonna hate it. This is gonna be the worst. <laughs> uh, one of the most infamous tragedies occurred in 1918. Oh, uh, William Shatner's birth. <laughs> no, that no, he's not that old. He would have been born in the 40s, I reckon. Oh, 19. 18. Oh, 1918, that's right. <laughs> William Shatner Sr. Yes, Bill Shatner, they called him. <laughs> this was when the... Billy U- Shats. <laughs> Billy Shats. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about Billy Shats or whatever happened in 1918. So when, uh, in 1918, the USS Cyclops, uh, which was Billy Shatt's other name... <laughs> Uh, was a big Navy cargo ship which housed over 300 men and 10,000 tons of manganese on board. <laughs> manganese? <laughs> manganese. <laughs> what? Magazines? 10,000 tons of magazines. <laughs> That's precious, precious cargo. Mayonnaise? tons of manganese. <laughs> I don't know what that is. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds valuable. (laughs) (laughs) I can't tell if Matt's laughing or crying. I think it's a bit of both. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> Can we look it up? I'm, a, I'm looking it up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Manganese. A chemical element with the symbol MN and the atomic number 25. Manganese is a metal with important industrial metal alloy uses, particularly in stainless steels. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> manganese. You just said it so grandly, a, and then had nothing to follow up because you had no idea what it was. I don't feel good. <laughs> Where's that bin? Uh, to your right, mate. Manganese. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like manganese. Manganese. <laughs> Sounds like manganese. <laughs> 10,000 tons. Which of it. isn't a thing. <laughs> but it does sound like it also. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach hurts. Manganese. 
Oh. So this is, my just to recap, hurt. it's a, a ship in 1918. With some 10, soldiers and some metal. 300 soldiers, 10,000 tons of manganese. Yeah, <laughs> on board. And this boat, um, this this boat sank somewhere between Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even, you didn't do that on purpose, did you? You were Barbados. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, it hurts. <laughs> Babados. Oh, this is going to be unlistenable. <laughs> Next to Jamaka. <laughs> so this boat, the USS Cyplops. <laughs> Cyplops! Plops! Do you want me to just do the rest of your report? Jess, just read out the rest of what you've written. <laughs> Give it here. Do you want to do it? Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm so this sorry. N- never <laughs> happened never on the show. Never been done before. Oh. Unprecedented. Matt has I tapped out of his own report. Give me the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's out. Oh, no. To be fair, Jess, do you reckon you would have pronounced manganese correctly? <laughs> I would have said Barbados, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I'll just finish this sentence for you because you've tried it 19,000 times. Um... This boat. This boat. <laughs> this <laughs> fucking boat. <laughs> He's literally written this boat. Full stop. And then in capitals, this boat sank somewhere between Barbados and the Chesapeake Bay. Ooh. Chesapeake. Oh, Chesapeake. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Not Barbados. <laughs> Babadook. Barbados. Do you want to keep going, Matt? Yeah. All right, here you go, buddy. There we go. You take that back. And I'm imagining that that means it's inside the triangle of some. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, what Great. was what was Great. interesting? Uh, what was interesting about the whole um, Cyclops thing is that they never sent out an SOS. The ship. The ship. It disappeared without a trace. Yeah, because. But- Found the island and they were all like, oh, "This is this all right. great. Oh, you, happy hour. You Sweet. don't sauce it when you got a a paradise. You don't need to sauce it. There's yeah, no, have, you, have you seen the film The Beach? They go to many lengths. There's no to sa- keep it a secret. There's no right. save our souls. There's well, we found our souls. They fossed it. Yeah, they went there and found themselves, Matt. Mm. Yeah, them and ten thousand tons of manganese, <laughs> which manganese. has many uses in, on a tropical island in the middle mm-hmm. of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they had the ability to do it, but they just didn't do it, right? An extensive search found no wreckage. Oh. Later, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson said, and I quote, Only God and the sea know what happened to the great ship. Oh. Do you know why Woodrow Wilson's famous, Dave? Because oh, he's the president during the First World War? No, it was used um, in The Simpsons. Oh, in The Simpsons. Woodrow. Woodrow Wilson. With a picture of a, like an old NFL player or something. Yeah, yeah. Dear baby, welcome to Dumpville. Population, Population you. you. Do you know that episode of The Simpsons? Mm-hmm. You've got to do The Simpsons episode soon, Davy boy. Yeah, Davy boy. Davy um, Jones locker. Oh my God, it all ties together. In night- <laughs> yeah, I am the C. <laughs> In 1941, two of the Cyclops' sister ships also vanished oh. without a trace, God, following a similar route. The Cyclops had sisters. I mean, that 41. was many years later. Yeah, three decades later, which is still possible. Of course it is. That might, like... No, nah, it's right. I don't right. fully... Yeah, anyway. It's right. That's right. Um, a pattern allegedly began forming in which vessels traversing the Bermuda Triangle would either disappear or be found abandoned. Then in 1945, December. <laughs> Good, because I was going to ask. Yep. Five Navy bombers carrying 14 men took off from Fort Lauderdale. And how in much, how much Florida. manganese? Florida. Mm-hmm. How much manganese? Yeah, how much manganese do they have? Untold amounts. <laughs> Untold, <laughs> Untold amounts of manganese. Untold amounts of manganese. Well, okay, sorry. Hashtag manganese. So 14 of them have left Florida over five bombers. And they were out to conduct. Practice bombing runs over some nearby shoals, which I think are those, they're like sort of like scarves mm-hmm. that women wear. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and there was some nearby. Which is confusing. Mm. I don't know why you're bombing the shoals. No, but like they went out in the 80s. So, and this is before that. So <laughs> yeah, we're so trying that, to get rid of them. Yeah, that early. makes it. Okay. They were huge and the army hated them. Yeah. Really big shoals. Really, really big, big shoals. shoals. <laughs> <laughs> really big. <laughs> um, but with his compass apparently malfunctioning, the leader of the mission known as Flight 19, which is this is probably the most famous of the Bermuda Triangle mysteries. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> this, is written, this is how it was written on history.com. They got severely lost. <laughs> Severe, so not just a little bit. A little not bit a little bit lost. lost. Unpa lost. Like, full lost. Totes lost. Like, All five planes flew aimlessly until they ran low on fuel and had to ditch at sea. What? Oh. That's weird. The same day... A rescue plane and its 13-man crew also vanished. Oh. Were they looking for them? Yes. Oh, that's oh, weird. Oh, that's dodgy. That's super weird, hey. And but after not. a massive week-long search failed to turn up any evidence, the official Navy report, official, mm-hmm. this is written in bloody words, mm-hmm. in, Word doc, in Word, Microsoft, mm-hmm. said that it was as if they had flown to Mars. Okay, well, that's a bit, all right. No, I don't know. Official. Is that a theory? No, no, that's officially in the document. (laughs) Here's what I reckon. As if they'd flown to Mars. Here's what I reckon. All right, Jess is going to. I'm jumping in early with a theory. I definitely think there's an island. I think that island, somewhere in the middle, it's really peaceful, but also filled with a bunch of pranksters. And what they do is shoot down the planes. They like stay away from our island. That's not really pranking. That's terrorism. Yeah, right. So that's there's a difference. Fun little prank. <laughs> that's the difference. Shooting and killing uh, fourteen people. men. Maybe instead they like flag them down and like just hang out in our island for a bit, oh. and then they just end up staying. Yeah, maybe that's nice. I think it's a nice island. That's my theory. Did you? What about this though? The um, the crew mm. were were led by a very experienced pilot, Lieutenant Charles Carroll Taylor, who was twenty eight years old, and he'd served in World War Two. He'd had over two and a half thousand flying hours. Wow. Super experienced. That's a lot, that's a lot of hours. At Dave, 28, how many, too, that's quite young. Say if you would did half an hour a day, how many how many days is that? Five thousand. Wow, geez, Dave is good at maths. But that uh, he's gonna be longer than that though, because... Say it's an hour a day, how many how many days? Two and a half thousand. Oh, jeez, he's good. <laughs> how good is he? He's pretty good. I, say it's okay. two and a half hours a day, then how many days? <laughs> Thousand. Bloody hell, I cannot trip him up. A thousand days is a lot, though. That's a lot of days. Two and a half hours a day. That's only two and a half hours every day for three years. And if you're in the Second World War, you're probably flying five days a week. Probably doing multiple hours a day. Okay, well then you've All just right, added, you you've added an extra hours, year, though. haven't you, as well? Anyway, so they're, you're saying they're led by this 28-year-old experienced pilot. The training they were undertaking on that day was known as navigation problem number one. Mm. Oh, it sounds like that they did not solve that problem. Okay, no need to move on to number two. Yeah, because they are not ready for You've it. You've already failed. In that you're as soon dead. as they radioed and said, I don't know where I am, they're like, well, that's a fail. Yep. You're cooked, mate. Is the problem they lead them into the middle of nowhere and leave them and you have to try and find your way home in a plane? Is, is that, that it? Is that, that the, the problem? problem? Is that problem number one? That's what? number one problem. Problem mm. number two is finding them and they failed because... Yeah, 99 problems. The rescue boat also failed. When the planes were checked before the training, it was discovered none of the planes had clocks. Oh, so they just lost track of time. They were having fun. None of them have clocks. It's like when you were a kid and your mum was like, all right, you can go out and play with your friends, but you've got to be back by dark. So back by five o'clock. And you'd be like, righto, mum. I don't have a watch. I can't read a clock. <laughs> I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm being free. It's that, isn't it, Matt? Yes. <laughs> I was sorry. I was reading ahead. I know. I haven't, like, I've, I haven't read these words ever before. Interesting to note that the training the crew were to undertake was known as Dead Reckoning. Oh. Which involved undertaking a number of calculations, including time elapsed. But they didn't have any clocks. But So they discovered that... You said that before they went, they discovered it, but they didn't decide to go get a clock. <laughs> hey, guys, we don't have a clock. She'll be right. However, they didn't see the lack of clocks as an issue as it was assumed that the crew would have watches. (laughs) Did anyone have a watch? (laughs) All planes were fully fueled. 
Okay, but no clocks. <laughs> the weather was favourable. My, the sea my, state oh, was my, moderate to rough. My plane has a clock but no fuel. Up you go. Consider yourself lucky, Perkins. <laughs> Taylor was running late to flight time. Because you didn't have a fucking clock. Yeah. <laughs> I said that's so weird. Taylor was running late to flight time. But that is what it says. Taylor was running late, so flight time was delayed. He doesn't sound very organized. From 1.45 or to 2.10. Oh, oh no. You've just lost 25 minutes of daylight, mate. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? How far did they get into the routine? Is that the kind of question you're wondering? Obviously, that was my next question. My second question, first of all, was what the fuck? (laughs) It is believed that they completed the bombing practice as one of the last requests from the crew was permission to drop the last bomb. (laughs) What? What? That was one of the last requests. What? Can we drop the last bomb? Yeah, go on. And Thanks, then, Mum. And then what happened? They just disappeared. Whee! <laughs> but they, didn't you say they didn't know where they were? Yes. So they just decided to bomb something. <laughs> Look, there's land down there. Let's bomb it. They are, uh, Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's confusing. The island. Oh, they, uh, they bombed the island. Not my island. Dystopia. All right, look, look, Full of terrorists. Let me sum this up for nice you in a terrorists. nutshell. Sum it up. Taylor radioed that his compass wasn't working, right? That's what he radioed. <sighs> over the course <laughs> of... Compass not working, compass not working. <laughs> over and out. <laughs> Taylor, please repeat, please repeat. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said... <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I, I always chew on my fingers and yeah, mumble. Yeah, so sorry. I was not paying attention. Uh, my uh, compass isn't working. Any, um, any feedback on that? Check your clock. Check your clock. Ah, gotcha. So that, I mean, that, but that, that was Christopher Columbus style, right? Check your clock. His compass wasn't working. Mm. Oh, okay. I get you now. But remember, but you've explained that already, though. Potentially, but they didn't know that in 19 whatever. 45. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's <all> be specific. <laughs> 19 whatever. Over the know. course what of the. What year is it? 19 whatever. <laughs> 19 something. Over the course of the 10 hours. Um, oh, they were lost for that long. Taylor's team tried to, f- you, you, they decided to find land by just flying in one direction. They thought they were flying in, flying north. They flew for 10 hours, apparently. Couldn't find land. Is it possible to fly for that long and not find land? It seems ridiculous. But that's what's written on this thing that I'm reading. Yeah, like, because there's heaps of islands around there. It seems like you'd be very like, unlucky. Yeah, but then, like, or, or something. Fucked is happening. <laughs> Something. What do you reckon? These giant octopus? Yes. yes. Like really, but when I say giant, I don't mean like wow, that's a big octopus. I mean fucking enormous, like, like King Kong octopus, like, like too big. Like you zoom out and you still only like one of its freckles. Oh, that's even bigger. Huge. I was, I was thinking like a, I was thinking like an eyeball, but nah. the freckles are even massive. bigger. Massive, Ma- and it's got big eyes too. <gasps> they do though, don't they? That's one thing about octopuses that I've noticed. They have big eyes. Or did you say squid? I said octopus. And is there a difference? I'm not sure. Good. Uh, the official report from the Navy was that navig- a navigational error led them to run out of fuel, and that was it. Uh, so the, the plane that went out looking for them, the PBM Mariner. Peanut butter Mariner. Yes. It That was the one with oh, the 13 now crew. I want peanut butter. 13 crew went out looking for them. Never found again. Never returned. Wow. Did they even radio in? Was it just like, see it? Didn't bother. They said, (laughs) dropped the mic, said, out. (laughs) Peace. Uh, They're not sure what happened to that plane, but a near boy. (laughs) Near boy. (laughs) A boy near boy. (laughs) They're not sure what happened to this plane either, but a nearby boat reported they saw an explosion, (laughs) which seems to (laughs) have some way to explaining. And the official report states that it was a presumed mid-air explosion. Because somebody in the island was shooting them down. Nicely. <laughs> in a friendly way. A friendly shoot down. Yeah. If you guys can make sense of this, that'd be great. Cool. The reason explosion seems most likely for the Mariner is that those types of planes were known to collect flammable aviation gasoline vapors in its bligers. Bliges. Bligs. Bl- How do you spell that? B L I G E S. 
No, no. But B I L G E S. Bilge. 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 <laughs> uh, the phrase Bermuda Triangle was called. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> The phrase Bermuda Triangle was coined by Vincent Gaddis in Van Gogh. a 1964 magazine article. Where his so painting was Berm- printed in the magazine. 1964 was yeah, the first time that turned out. It'd be, I mean, if I had that as my last thing, like, see, I created a phrase that everyone knows in pop culture and they don't know why, I'd be happy. Yeah, that's true. Let's think of one. Bermuda... Pineapple. <laughs> Great, I'm happy with it. Your jumper has pineapples on it. Yes, it does. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, I like it. Pumuda pineapple. Yes, yes. Poo go on. Poo go on, Matt. Poo go on. So this guy's created, coined it in 64. That's all. Was it just like a flip, <laughs> just a flippant reference? Do you End think he, he probably had no idea that it would become like a real pop culture? But why, like, if people... He did write, he wrote a big article about it. And if they were kind of thinking, like, other people must have been aware of... This area. So I wonder why they hadn't named it, or did, what? What did they refer to it as? I wonder. I just it wasn't seen as being a thing. Mm, okay. It was just there were some things that happened. It's such a huge space. It's just another area of ocean. Yeah, there's every area of oceans had crazy accidents. Name one. Um, Titanic. Well played. Damn it. So, uh, um. So apart from these accidents, there were still a a bunch of other mysteries. Mm. Um. And a lot of those um, included the crew sending all's well messages just before disappearing. Sending what messages? All's well. All's well, right. We're okay. Tips me lead. All we're good. all right. Hey, don't worry about us there, fella. All's well. Uh, in 19... no, no. 1974, Charles Belitz wrote a sensational bestseller about the legend. Now, are you saying ah. sensational in the sense of you've read it and think it is just it is sensational? Oh, or are you saying it's sensational in his style of... His style of writing was sensational, ah, yeah. But of course. Right, 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 right. But conveniently, it was also sensationally well written. Ah. It, was, it was a big article, a big, a big article. It was a big, uh, big book. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Technical term, technical term there, Matt. It's a big book. But if it... If it no, I'm starting to think if that sold, if that was a huge seller, <laughs> that could be why it's known in pop culture. Yes, um, and yeah, so that was really big. That, but that's seventy four. It's not that long ago. Um, and since then, there's been a fair few more stories written about it, and that's it's become bigger and bigger. It's got bigger. It's a big book. <laughs> Keeps getting yeah. bigger and bigger. That's big, yeah. It's become more and more of a thing. But it's I I just thought it must have been around for a while, or the things must have all happened at the same time. But it's just. It's a big spread of time, and then all, only recently people have trying to like mush it into a theory. Here are some of the theories as to why people think um, uh, the triangle is so deadly. Mm-hmm. Oh, so okay, we've covered Ireland. I mean, I've already yeah, I feel like I've already come up with a couple of really Atlantis. Good you theories. said that I was that Atlantis? was listed on history dot com. What but else you got? Does it say why what Atlantis is doing to the planes though? Just sucking them in. Atlantis, the lost city. Why is it sucking in planes? Um, the merman welcome. or whatever. What? The what man? Isn't Atlantis like where mermen live? Isn't that where Aquaman's from? I think that's where Aquaman's from. My other theories include a giant octopus slash squid. Apparently there's a difference. Disagree. Sea monsters was listed. Great. I also said an island filled with friendly terrorists. Is that on there? That's not on there. Yes, Perkins. This is good. I think that's that's my favourite of the three presented. Is there any more? Aliens. No. All right, now, I feel like we it's a go to. We always well, go to aliens. It um it was heavily implied that it was aliens in the Bermuda Triangle ride of SeaWorld slash Dreamworld that I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, but like we you always You go into a thing and there's like all these like aliens and like there's different rockets and bits of plane that the aliens have been collecting. The first thing we always go to when something's a little bit weird, we just go, Oh, it must be aliens. Like think outside the box, people. Come on. Is it is there some sort of golden woman a la Yeah, golden Dilatov woman? Dilatov Diet Love Pass. Is there anything further out of the box than aliens? <laughs> well <when> it's, just, <laughs> it's just you go to. Like just be creative. Don't always blame Come the aliens. On. Think of an island full of little. What give them too much credit. What about this time warps? Nah, so they've don't like that they one. flow flow in, 
in their plane. Yeah. They're flying, yep. Um, like I'd, I'd flow in. Flow in. All right. And then they just flow out into another time. No, nah, don't like that one. Disagree okay. with that one. Reverse gravity fields. Disagree also. Oh, so you go, what, you lose gravity, so you so fly you go, into the sun. <laughs> you just go up. <laughs> That's just silly. Suddenly no. you're in a ship, you're looking down and you're flying above the water. What's going on? Nah. And you don't come back. Disagree. I like that one. That one sounds like fun to me. Uh, there's also been some more scientific theories, including magnetic anomalies. Oh, yeah. Which I guess that... Um, ruins the compasses. Yeah. Compass thing. But then, like... No, because like, just keep going. <laughs> uh, get a, get a map that? out. Oh, Jess, we're running out of fuel. We, we don't know what to do. Just keep going. <laughs> just keep going, mate. That's my sort of attitude, though, Chin isn't up. it? That's, Chin up, that pilot. is me, though, isn't it? Hey, yeah. just a little ray of sunshine. Just exactly. keep, keep on going. All keep right. on going. What Go about this, it. then? Oh? Mm-hmm. Water spouts. Nah. Wait, unless you mean it's like, like at theme parks and there's like... Those holes in the ground and then just water comes out of them yeah. randomly. Oh, okay. That's but, pretty fun. Yeah. But like it's got to go high enough to hit a plane and take it out of the sky. Yes. So like... Science. Nah, I'm backing that one. Like a 20,000 foot water spout. I may also back out of my island theory for the water spout theory. And then another one that um, has had a few different people get on board recently. Uh, mm. Huge eruptions of methane gas from the ocean floor. Poop. What does it do? Huge eruptions of methane gas. <laughs> How does that, what does that do? <laughs> he doesn't know. It, Dave just doesn't know. I agree with Jess there. <laughs> and there's, there's no amount of sense that I could beat into him. I won't even bother trying to explain this. Even Huge I know. eruptions of methane gas. Yeah, which would cause Imagine like, a like gas, bubble. like a big amount of gas coming up at you. Into the sky. Into the sky. That's where it would go. And it gasses the pilots. Yeah, it gasses I don't, them. I don't like that theory. don't love it. Uh, it's sort of more than likely that there's not one explanation. That, oh, so that the aliens are working in conjunction with the people from Atlantis to release methane no, gas no, via no, giant no, water no, geysers. No, 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 no. Is that correct? Is that no, what that's, at? that's not what I'm getting at. I'm getting at um, each disappearance probably has a different reason. Um, oh, well, that's no fun at all. It also and seems... there's so many... That this area of ocean has no more disappearances than any other areas of ocean. ocean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Actually, what about lakes? I put a dot, dot, dot in there. <laughs> what about lakes? Lakes, yeah. Or there's been other bodies of water. No, no, I mean, I'm talking big, big oceans. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> Someone has said, apparently um, people say that, apparently people say, uh, history.com said that... Um, Trying to find a common cause for every Bermuda Triangle disappearance is no more logical than trying to find a common cause for every automobile accident in Arizona. Hang on. There's some sort of automobile triangle in Arizona? (laughs) Is that what we should take away from this? Aliens. Aliens, my Mm go-to. Or some sort of island in the middle of Arizona where all these automobiles are trying to get to. Or water spouts. Just come out in the middle of the road. Bloody whoop, they're under the car. Got them. Got him. Smash the car. Got a man beast. <laughs> Maritime insurance leader Lloyds of London does not recognise the Bermuda Triangle as an especially hazardous place. Neither does the US Coast Guard, no. which says, in a review of many aircraft and vessel losses in the area over They're the American. years, there have been nothing discovered that would indicate the casualties were the result of anything other than physical causes. I'm really not sure that that... that no extraordinary factors have been identified. That quite didn't need to be read in full. No, you couldn't paraphrase that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and also that accent didn't match the nationality of the people you were allegedly quoting. Just thought I'd finish with a... Um, <laughs> something powerful. A recent report um, from this year on uh, news.com. Mm-hmm. Which is a very trustworthy. Yeah, very user. reputable. Rupert Murdoch, old, old mate. Headline Could underwater crater discovery explain the Bermuda Triangle mystery? Question mark. Answer <laughs> The whole article is the word no. <laughs> <laughs> no Move on. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Probably they've, not. They've given up on clickbait. No, but, but apparently they've found underwater craters uh, off the coast of Norway and think that that may be a. 
craters. Craters off the coast of Norway. Yeah, that which Caribbean area. Nowhere near it. It's um, about as far as you can get away from it. It's yeah, interesting, <laughs> right? Apparently, it, this article says it's hoped the craters are the key to finally explaining the baffling phenomenon. Well, that's kind of disappointing. In a but way. then, does it explain it? In the article? The craters, which measure up to 800 metres wide and 45 metres deep, wow. are believed to have been created by methane building up <gasps> in sediments on the seafloor of the gas-rich Norway coast. They then leak, popping through the seabed and into the water above. Multiple giant mm. craters exist on the seafloor and in the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Details of the discovery will be released um, at the meeting of the European Geosciences Union where experts will analyse whether these kinds of bubbles could place ships in danger. Anyway, I like to fade things out, as always. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's my preferred theory, is um, gas. Nah. Gas. Norwegian gas. Norwegian gas. I still think there's an island out there. Rupert, why would Rupert yeah, it's Murdoch... Called, it's called Cuba. Ah, oh, yes. You're saying Rupert Murdoch would fuck with us on this. No, nah, good Why point. He? He'd never let us down. Why would he fuck with us on this? He would never. Yeah, I don't know. Norway is somehow, like, I reckon I wouldn't put it past Norway. Yeah. You know, with some of our mystery sort of themed topics, we're always like, oh, it's kind of unsatisfactory. There's no real answer there. I'm actually just disappointed that the Bermuda Triangle isn't as bad as was made out to be. Like, they say there's no higher number of disappearances than in any other patch of ocean. It's like, oh. Yeah, I thought, like, if you were going to go in, you are not coming out. But you probably will. <laughs> yeah, like, chances are on your side. Yeah, like a normal trip, a normal boat yeah. or, or plane trip. Fl- like, many, many flights every day go through the Bermuda Triangle. And, yeah. Every day, without incident. Bang, bang, bang. I mean... Flight it, just went off. Flight, just another another is, flight. Is that them through. going flight. down or doing going well? That's them going well. Oh, good. <laughs> another if, flight goes well. And if so, it was that bad, they would stop represents. going through that area. Yeah. It, but they haven't because it's fine. It's definitely not a thing. Oh, well, that's one hundred percent not a thing. Oh no! Someone please message in. I'm so sorry um, to people who believe it's a thing. I obviously have researched it and proved it uh, without shadow yeah, Matt, of a doubt. You are it's not a now thing. an absolute bona fide expert on the triangle. Isn't is it awful that you've dedicated your whole life to this topic and suddenly you've realised over your eleven hours of research today that it in fact probably doesn't exist at all. I don't even. I'm not even sure that Bermuda's a real place. <laughs> is it? It's a place in your heart. I mean, sure, it's a place in my heart. <laughs> Tell you what, the Bermuda Triangle of my heart's had a few uh, casualties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I don't know what that means. No. Nah. Is that bad for me or? Oh, you... no. Nah, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's not overanalyze. It was a cute little moment. Yeah. Between you, me, <laughs> and Puerto Rico. What the, oh, we're like the Bermuda Triangle, because there's three of us. Oh. Which Who do you see yourself as? Mm. I think you're the Bermuda. I was going to say I'm the Florida. Why do you think I'd be the Bermuda? Because I'm mysterious. You're mysterious. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, I reckon you're the, you're the titular character. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so what would Dave be? Uh, Dave's more of a San Juan, Puerto Rico. Agreed. I agree. And you're yeah. definitely a Florida man. Florida man. I'm a Florida man. Yeah. Great. That's what they call you. Welcome to Miami. And I sing the Will Smith song Miami all the time. Welcome to Miami. And then he says something about like Jean-Claude Van Damme or something. Van Damme? <laughs> Van Damme. Welcome, Welcome to, to Van Damme. Damme. <laughs> That's just him... Shaking hands with Jean-Claude Van Damme as he touches us down in Welcome Miami. Welcome to Van Damme. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, bon bon. <laughs> bon bon. <laughs> I know I'm Belgian, but still. Still, he's French-Belgian. Oui. Are you going to wrap this up? or? Oh, you, know, you could have told us you were done. We could oh, go... So. I feel like we could go all night long. No, I don't want where to. Where is though. the time gone? You know where? Into the Bermuda Triangle, that's where. We're so sorry. Thanks for the report, Matt. Look, I'm, I'm thinking about putting this report into the bin. I I reckon this might be our lost report. That would feel apt. <laughs> that would feel quite apt <laughs> if you try and download it into an hour of silence. <laughs> but what happened to them? Where are they? And then we don't tweet for a week either. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Where are they? And then we're like, jokes. We're here. 
We're fine. We'll never leave you. Okay. And everyone goes, jokes what? I, I didn't notice anything. Yeah, I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. If you have managed to listen to this, if this has made it out into the air, if this has made it to your ears, then we are alive, um, <laughs> most likely. Um, thank you so much for the suggestions. Hey, thanks so much, Emma and Bradley. And yeah. Let us know if I didn't hit on any of the... <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who didn't hit on any of the key points you wanted to hit. <laughs> I remember when he said Papa Doss. <laughs> Papa Doss. I'm going to go on uh, take a sweet short break to the island of Bubba Doss. Bubba Doss. Brigadier. I tell you what, if I was Bubba Doss, I would <laughs> probably consider renaming. To Bubba Doss? No, if I was... What was it actually called? Barbados. 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 Are we sure that it's not technically pronounced Barbados? Mm, pretty sure. Barbados. <laughs> Barbados. We shall ask Rihanna. But anyway, until uh, next week, uh, get in contact. You know the ways. It's email. You're all on email. <laughs> are you, do you have an email? All the kids are on email. We love email. We do at dogoonpod at gmail.com. Twitter, if you're on that, at do go on pod. Facebook, dot com slash do go on pod. And, uh, yeah, if you've been to the Bermuda Triangle, let us know <laughs> if you are still alive. <laughs> Unlikely, though, because it's such a dangerous place. <laughs> but we will uh, say goodbye, and until next week, I will say goodbye. Bye. Waters. Thank you.